Hello and welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Zhang Yizhi. I'm with Xinhua News Agency. Today I'm in a little island called Huashao Yu of South China's Fujian Province. We are in Xiamen City. Today I'm uh, actually the uh, uh, the island is home to the uh, breeding and uh, rescue center of Chinese white dolphins. So probably we are going to see some uh, uh, white dolphins in this uh, uh, in this center. Uh, in 2017, uh, we in 2017, a national uh, protection network uh, initiative for, of the uh, Chinese white dolphins is launched uh, in Xiamen City. Why is it uh, in Xiamen City? Because uh, the white Chinese white dolphin uh, is a uh, mascot of this city, and uh, it is very common to see the. Uh, uh, Chinese white dolphins uh, in the waters of the Xiamen city. So um, the Chinese white dolphin is nicknamed as the giant panda in the sea. Uh, why why uh, is that name? Uh, because the, uh, uh, the, the, the Chinese white dolphin uh, is as cute and uh, as the panda and uh, in, the t in the same time it is also an endangered species uh, in, the, in the world. So uh, uh, I heard that there are some dolphins in this place, and uh, this is uh, a, an aquarium uh, behind me. So let's get in and uh, check it out. Let's go. Yes, this is an um, aquarium, and we can see uh, some dolphins dancing in the water. But uh, I'm not good at uh, the uh, marine animals, so we need uh, a, an expert to help me out. And uh, gladly, we have uh, uh, Dr. Wang Xinyue, uh, who is a uh, marine uh, biolo bi biologist from the Third Institute of uh, Ocean Oceanography of the State Oceanic uh, uh, Administration. Welcome, Dr. Wang. So first of all, can you tell us uh, now what kind of research uh, do you do? Uh, I'm Xian Yin Wang from the Seoul Institute of Oceanography, State Oceanic Administration. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, so far I'm mainly focused on uh, marine, rare and endangered species, such as uh, marine mammal and sea turtles, especially on uh, Chinese white dolphin, and has been working on Chinese white dolphin for uh, since I was graduated from the Institute of Hydrobiology, uh, Chinese Academic of Science. That was in uh, 2009, about eight years ago. Uh, eight years, that's uh, a very experienced expert. Uh, Dr. Wang, um, oh, we have, uh, we, 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 can we, we see uh, two, two dolphins, right, in this uh, pool. And uh, can you tell us uh, are the male or female? Uh, yeah, these two, uh, these two dolphins are males. How long can they live? Uh, the lifespan of the bottlenose dolphin can last about uh, thirty-five to forty years. So, are the uh, the Chinese white dolphins? No, no, no. They are not Chinese white dolphin. They are bottlenose dolphin. It's another species. Uh, Both nose dolphin uh, live in. Uh, there are two kinds of both nose dolphin. One form is live uh, in near shore waters in warm water, and another form is uh, uh, prefer to use uh, uh, deep and uh, cold waters. Uh, so uh, we cannot see it from the surface. So we are going down to the uh, uh, to the. Uh, uh, we are go underground to get a closer look at these uh, dolphins. Yes, this place is better. Uh, okay, now we can see it clearly. Uh, so, uh, uh, what are they doing now? Uh, yeah, maybe they looking at us, maybe interesting us, what they are. 
so they look gray. Valleys, a little white and sun, dark spot mm -hmm. on the valley. Okay. That's the difference to Chinese white dolphin. A white dolphin is, uh, as adults, individuals, a white dolphin is uh, white with pink, and the bottlenose dolphin is, uh, is gray, mm -hmm. and a little white on the valley. Okay. And uh, are there differences? Oh. Yeah. Look at the the, the mouth, the, the beak, the beak of the bottlenose dolphin is is robust and uh, short, mm -hmm. and the, the restaurant of the white dolphin is get longer and thinner. So uh, you mean the, the the beak of the white uh, the Chinese white dolphin is longer than the bottlenose dolphins, right? Yes. Look at the look at the the, the, the beak. You you see it looks like a boater. That's why they call the bottlenose. So how long can a uh, uh, how, how long can a bottlenose uh, the dolphin live? Uh, yeah, the bottlenose dolphin can a uh, lifespan can live last for last about uh, thirty-five to forty years. Is there any difference between male and the female dolphins? Yes, about to. Normal citizen is uh, difficult to 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 find the difference between male and females because uh, look they looks also the same but uh, at the abdomen the you see uh -huh. this is yeah. male. Uh -huh. Okay, that's uh, it's a male. Okay. And the female has the two uh, the, the the reproductive org org organs of the female and the male is different at at the by, by abdomen. Okay, so both of them are male ones, so we are not. Uh, be able to see a female productive organ. So, uh, uh, what kind of uh, so uh, what kind of uh, study do you do when you get here? You you study these uh, bottlenose uh, dolphins, right? Uh, oh, yes. You you watch them. Oh, do you uh, you you, re you do you treat them? Because uh, I heard that uh, they are rescued from. Uh, the uh, uh, South Pacific Ocean. Uh, do you treat them? Uh, you, you mean what? Treat? Uh, uh, you, uh, medical treatment. Ah, uh, yeah. Because these two dolphins were the bycatch from fishermen oh. activity, uh, fishing activity. They so they are caught by mistake. Yes. They when they were first got to our center, they have a serious skin disease mm -hmm. and also eye disease. Uh, uh, after h about one uh, half years, a, a treatment it get better, and now they are in good uh, uh, health condition. So they are in good condition now. So, uh, uh, but uh, still, we haven't uh, set them free to the uh, South Pacific Ocean, as the keeper told me uh, uh, earlier. Because uh, the uh, living environment has changed, uh, so it is not possible for us to just set them free to the uh, South Pacific Ocean. Um, uh, Dr. Wang, your your your, your research uh, mainly focus on uh, uh, the Chinese white dolphins, right? So, uh, uh, oh, what what uh, how can they help? How can our research of these uh, uh, bottlenose help our research research of the, uh, the Chinese white dolphin? Because they are close relatives. No, not so close. Not so close. Uh -huh. They are different species. Mm. <coughs> Uh, and in different, uh, uh, I think, uh, yeah, uh, because uh, Chinese white dolphin is now is listed as a national one, national one uh, uh, protected uh -huh. animals in China. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard to, because a white dolphin is very endangered in Xiamen Bay. A local government can need to know how to conserve and uh, kind of protect the white dolphin. Uh, maybe uh, uh, arti arti artificial reproductive is one is a good choice. But the white white dolphin in Xiamen Bay is so small, small population, just last sixty to seventy individuals and it's hard to catch them for uh, for uh, so so they 
choose the final way to, to got some very good experience on reproductive for putting those both in, and then we can maybe very happy for to do reproductive for white dolphin. Okay, uh, so it helps, uh, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. Okay, so uh, I think we have uh, talked too much about too much about the bottlenose dolphins, but still we haven't seen any uh, picture of the Chinese white dolphins because there isn't uh, any Chinese white dolphins here. Uh, First of all, the, uh, the, the population of the Chinese white dolphin is so small, we, and uh, this is a rescue center. We just can't uh, uh, catch them and put them here for, uh, for, for performance or for, for show. And uh, so uh, uh, we have uh, these, uh, uh, we have rescued uh, uh, two uh, uh, botanist uh, dolphins here uh, for, res for, for research. Um, Next, uh, we are going to uh, get uh, footage of uh, the uh, Chinese white dolphins, which is uh, uh, filmed by the uh, uh, by the Oceanic uh, Administration of Xiamen City. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, that's a footage uh, filmed by the uh, uh, Xiamen Oceanic Administration. Uh, they filmed on the sea waters of Xiamen City. And uh, now we are on the surface uh, of this uh, uh, pool. And uh, we have uh, seen uh, enough of these pictures of the uh, uh, dancing dolphins in the sea. Yeah. I see uh, two keepers trying to feed these uh, dolphins. Uh, so, uh, uh, so, uh, so uh, they they want you to eat, right? Eat these uh, things. What kind of food do they eat? Fish. All kind of fish. What kind of fish? Yeah. Very small, small fish. What about their teeth? Are they sharp? Yeah. The 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 the, the young one you get more sharp, but the kind of older, they can to be smooth. So you cannot just uh, put your f uh, your hands in in the, their mouth. Actually, they they are, they are not so dangerous. It's not dangerous. They're very loved and friendly. Oh, can can they be? Uh, sometimes they, they become uh, furious. Are they always the, the, uh, this gentle? Yes, I think they are gentlemen. <laughs> so how high can they jump above this the sea water? Uh, yeah, some botanists, most of the botanists dolphin kept in captivity can be trained to jump, but in wild, I always, always sometimes to jump. I can up to two to three meters out of waters. Yeah. Oh, what about the uh, Chinese wild dolphins? Uh, the wild dolphin not jump so frequently. But in the wild, we did find someone to play, play and jump out uh, behind of the sh sh ship, ship boat, and uh, also play to jump. Also, maybe two or three meters. Always, say, always the same. Yeah. This fish, you get ready to eat the fish. 
Yeah. But just give them a signal. What it mean? Yeah. So uh, they are j as clever as a, a young young child, uh, three to four years. Yes, uh, the dolphins is very is very cute. You see. Dance. You mean dancing? Yeah. Uh, I saw some uh, animal performance uh, in some uh, uh, aquarium. Oh, okay, I see there is a basketball. What is, what is going, he going to do? Uh, you know, uh, because this is a very small pool, uh -huh. but we need exercise mm. to keep weight because they eat so much. Okay. <laughs> So they need uh, some training, yeah, right? Need, tra need, some tra need some training to keep their health. So they, they have to keep fit by doing all kinds of exercise. This is not uh, animal performance. I want to remind you, uh, uh, the keeper give them uh, a, a basketball just to uh, uh, keep them fit. OK, let's see more pictures of them dancing. Uh, let's talk more about the Chinese wild dolphins. You just, uh, just now you told me that uh, the, you cannot just uh, uh, put your hand uh, uh, into their mouth or, or, or tap them uh, because uh, uh, maybe uh, your, your, your hand is not uh, clean enough. They may get, uh, they may, uh, get, get, get sick. So um, do, uh, do they have a very high requirement for their living environment? Uh, I think uh, uh, for bottom of dolphin. Uh, for, for Chinese white dolphin. Uh, yeah, Chinese white dolphin. Yeah, this species is only uh, distribute distribute along the coast and in shore waters. Is um, their habitat never deeper than twenty meters? So, especially prefer to use the uh, estuary waters. So this water is very close to our, uh, in, in, overlapped with our human activity. L a lot of human activity uh, occurred in this area. So they put uh, many kinds of pressure and uh, threats to white dolphins. Uh, yeah. So uh, what kind of uh, human activities may pose a threat to your living pro uh, environment, like uh, fishing or? Yeah, fishing activity is uh, widespread, not only to white dolphin and also to other marine species. And uh, for take Xiamen Bay, for example, there are, because Xiamen Bay is a very important national port, a lot of ships, vessel, very busy vessel traffic. And uh, during the last uh, maybe 30 years, a lot of uh, the human active, uh, human being uh, population has increased f so fast, and uh, a lot of uh, uh, coast uh, constructions, such as the bridge and the port, mm -hmm. and another is kind of main threat is uh, underwater blasting and uh, noise, which may be disturb the echolocation of the white dolphins, and also very endangered to the newborn calves. Because newborn calves never have uh, perfect uh, echolocations, they need they they can't live from their mothers. If we depart well, with their mothers, they cannot survive. So, yeah, the animal noise also important. It's very very it's very endangered and a threat to white dolphins. Keep distance from the dolphins, not get too close to the dolphin and disturb their normal activities. Yeah, and uh, I said, I think uh, the driver is very important. They need to be trained before. Yeah, that's as I suggest. <laughs> okay, I think uh, we have learned a lot of the uh, dolphins uh, 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 from uh, Dr. Wang. Thank you again, Dr. Wang. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, so uh, uh, I think uh, that's. Uh, all about uh, today's uh, dolphin tour and uh, if you are interested in our show please uh, share it uh, with your friends and uh, uh, share, share it with your friends in uh, on YouTube on Facebook and on Twitter that's all for today
Thank you. Bye bye.